In our last video, we went over five myths that are commonly practiced in the collision repair industry around vehicle electronics repairs. Number one, if there is no light on the dash, everything is working correctly. Number two, I do not need to calibrate. Number three, if it calibrates, it's good to go. Number four, you can calibrate anywhere. Number five, you can move a target from specs to calibrate. In this video, we're going to go over five more next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Myth number six, once the scan tool says calibration successful, I'm done. Calibration complete or calibration successful does not mean you're done. You need to test all parameters of operation on the roadway or what's formally called a Dynamics System Verification or DSV. Myth number seven, pre-scans are unnecessary. In the world of electronics, you need to know where to start repairs. A vehicle that has been involved in a collision will have many systems affected by the crushing and tearing of the vehicle's structure. Without a pre-repair scan, how do you know what's damaged? Myth number eight. Once the owner sells the vehicle, I'm no longer liable for the repairs my shop performed. There was a recent case where a judgment was handed down for improper repairs performed at a shop by the vehicle's previous owner. The vehicle was subsequently sold to another party who filed suit and received judgment. This should serve as a strong reminder to all shops and technicians that when you repair a vehicle, your repair needs to last the life of the vehicle. Your repairs may get tested in the worst case scenario. Myth number nine, customers can sign a waiver to decline ADAS calibrations and relieve the shop of all responsibility. It is necessary for you as a shop owner to talk to your own legal representative on this subject. Do not take what someone else does as the right way to do things. Protect your shop from misinformation and miss. Myth number 10, if I outsource my calibrations, I am not liable. You as a shop may be liable for all operations performed, whether in-house or sublet. If you know your subletter is doing procedures wrong, you need to speak up to correct the situation or find another source for those sublets. Contact your legal counsel for all clarification as to your liability for any repair and or sublet of services. So that's it, 10 myths that are spreading misinformation throughout the collision repair industry on scanning and recalibration. Remember the OEM repair procedures are the de facto standard. The Alliance of Automobile Manufacturers and the Association of Global Automakers, which represent automakers producing more than 99% of new cars and light trucks sold in the United States, state that failure to follow OEM repair procedures in the course of a post-collision repair should be considered an unauthorized modification of a vehicle and its systems, introducing the potential for bodily injury and death to any future drivers and occupants of the vehicle, as well as occupants in other motor vehicles on the roadway. Now you know fact from fiction. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.